Hey loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Agatha here for returning subscribers. Please welcome back for new viewers. Please you're welcome to this YouTube channel. On this channel, we do hair tutorials. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to add extension to large knotless braid and how to get the brick layer kind of cutting. Of course, this hair is scanty. If I'm going to be doing large knotless braid and I'm adding my extension, sorry, the way I do add to my small knotless braid is going to be showing it, to, it won't be as smooth as I would want. So I'm going to be adding my extension without spacing. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but I'm going to be showing you how to add your extension without giving space in the addition so the hairs on your hand can be full from the root of the hair. And you have a smooth looking braid at the end or in the middle of this video i'm going to be showing you what i'm saying and you differentiate it yourself what i mean by not giving space in the addition of your extension and giving space in your in the addition of the extension so now let's get into the video i'm trying to make the pattern straight and keep watching i'll be talking along i'll be covering you along thank you so much for clicking on this video thank you So let's go into breeding proper. Now I'm going to cross the hair once. I made it very slow so you can see what I am doing. So I'll cross the hair once. Yes, you have crossed it once. Then I'll collect the extension, pass it over my hand and hold it. If you know how to do Ghana weaving, this will be very easy for you. So you hold it with that hand, just like you used to add in your Ghana weaving. Then braid the hand you are holding and release the one over your hand. So you release it. I don't normally do this like crossing over like this. There's a way I do it faster, but because I want to show you, I'm going to do it this way so you can see. So I'll pick that one I dropped. Then I'll collect again. Why? Because her hair is scanty. I'm not going to braid in between. I'm not going to cross in between. I'll collect again. So the attachment, I can have attachment on the three parts of my braiding. I'll have attachment on my three parts. So I'm not, I'm not braiding between before collecting. So there will be attachment on the three parts and everywhere will be covered. You see, so I added again. And I'm going to collect for the third part, which make it three parts, and all the three parts we have in attachment. They'll be having braiding extension on them. The same way, hold it with the hand on top and cross and um, collect with the one at the root. Then flip it over. And see you there. Collect it. Pick the one you dropped. 
then you will come up. You are no longer weaving. You will not do as if you are weaving again. You are going to come up and start braiding. Now I've come up. I only crossed once. Then I'll collect again from her. Now look at it. I'm going to place this under that hand that is holding the extension and the hair. Braid the one that is under. The one I'm holding. I'll do it again so you will see. Put it there. I'm putting it under that hand there. Hold it with the hand then. Collect it. Then release the hand so the one on top could come under. Then I'll take that one under. Under the one that is going, under the third hand. That's it. Yes, I'll, I'll put it under the, my hand there. The hand will pick it then. I'll flip it over to the third hand. If you are a breeder, you don't, I don't need to explain the hand that's collecting for you because you know the hand that is there already. So I don't even know how to put them in words. So, you see? I'll collect you my desire. If the, if the hair is as thick as I want, then I'll braid. If I need to increase length, I will add. And that's how we continue. Yes, under the hand, I'll place it under the hand. Then flip it over to those ones under. Okay, now stop. Please, 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 for the sake of God, like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, I'm patting and I'm making sure that my pattern is clean, is neat. Now I'm going to be showing you how to get the brick layer kind of cutting. So I'll not go straight from that place I have line. I'll go to the middle of where I'm having my first box and I'll cut from there. That's how you get your brick layer kind of cutting. Look at it, the middle of the first line, the box under, I'll go to the middle and cut straight up. Make sure that the line is clean. Then I'll go under the third box and cut straight up again. Yes, that's how you get your brick layer kind of boxes. Now here I'm going to be showing you if I'm to build in between the hair what it will look like. But notice that here the hair is thicker than the down part of her hair. So it will be easier. It won't show that much. But I'm still going to show you if I'm to braid in between collecting. Now look, I've collected ones.
Now I'm supposed to collect, but I won't collect. I'll I'll braid in between once. I'll braid once, then collect. Normally this is how you're supposed to go. But since I is scanty, you want it fuller, and this is a large knot, let's braid. It's not like the small one that won't be noticed when you are adding much. So in this one, it shows you have to be careful what you are doing. Now I've added three times by braiding in between, you can see. Now let's finish the braiding, then I will show you the differences between them. Despite the fact that we have gotten into where the hair is a bit thicker, there will still be a lot of differences. Now I want to show you what the differences are between these two braids I'm having on my hands here. You can see that the first one on the right is smoother than the second one. This one I'm bending is not as smooth as the other one. Why? Because I gave space in the addition of the extension. And this one is so smooth. Despite the fact that the one on the left is having thicker hair than the one on the right, it's not looking as smooth. So this is what you get when you give space in adding extension to large knotless braid. And this is what you get when you don't give space at all.